In this section, we're going to look at the beginner quiz, which you should have already taken, and we're going to look at how we built it. So it's a beginner quiz. When they take it, notice it's just text on text for this science question. You pick the correct answer that you think is correct. You can clear the selection if you need to, but if not, they hit next. The next one is in a section, and this is a social studies one. In this one, I included a reading passage, so they have a paragraph to read first. And note, notice this one is multiple answers, so they have to check all that applies. Hit next, another section here. This section is for the wind, uh, for ELA. I tend to make sections, so sometimes the kids don't have to scroll as far. Just depends on what the kids like. We're gonna go scroll, they could read the whole wind poem. And then they answer the question. Now I could have several questions because there's usually like nine questions on a poem for ELA for Keystone, but they all come from in here. The last one I want to show you is I added uh, a math question from the Keystone also, but this one, the answer choices are pictures. All right, so for that one, I just pasted in the question. We're just going to answer it, and then I'm going to hit submit. I want to view my score. And it's going to tell me, oh, I didn't get that one right. And it tells me which one is the correct answer. Okay. Oh, I got that one right. I'm doing good there. The wind. Oh, I got that one right. And I got the math one right. So I can actually see my answers right away, depending on which boxes you check. So now let's look at how I made this. How you make this, let's go into Google Drive. Go into the folder where you want this to reside. And then once I'm in the folder, I go new. Google Form, and it will be in this file here. And I'm just going to call this Beginner. Now, first I need to make it a quiz, because right now it's more like a survey, just to collect data. It can't tell you right or wrong. So to do that, you go into Settings. Take a look at what you want to do. A lot of times, especially with our students, I like to collect emails, because then I know uh, their name. Otherwise, I have to help tell them to put a name on the paper. So I'm going to collect their emails. I'm also going to restrict it to people inside of Philadelphia Public Schools because it's a quiz for my kids. That's all that need it. And I can pick whether I want to limit it to just one or they can do as many as they want. So you have options here. I'm going to come over here to this quiz tab though and I'm going to make it a quiz. Notice I have some other options on right now. I want it immediately because that means they get the responses that they got right or wrong right away but I could make it manual. And this talks about which questions are correct, um, right, wrong. It's gonna show them when we uh, finish. I'm gonna click save. Make sure you click save so then we know that it's in a quiz format. And now I'm going to add the first que question, which was a science question. The first question, which was science, was multiple choice. They all came from keystones for, this, for these particular ones, if there was. All I did was copy and paste. So literally highlight what it is and paste over here. Do the same thing with answer choices. And again, let me do one more. I would do all four if I were really doing it, but you get the idea. Now I'm going to show you how you make it an, the answer key. So the answer was A, it was the first one. So you click on answer key. Select it, also tell it how many points you want that certain question to be, and click on Done. We'll point out one more thing. There is feedback here, so that if they get the correct, uh, incorrect answer, it gives them feedback, or if they get the correct answer, it gives them feedback. You can leave them whatever you want. I'm going to cancel that for now. All right, and then I'm going to hit Done. I'm going to make sure it's a required question so that they answer it. And then I'm going to make it a new section so the kids don't have to scroll as much. So section two then would be my uh, social studies. I'm going to add a question. In this case, I want it to be a checkbox or multiple answer question. I am going to go over and grab a piece of reading on sweatshops. And I'm just going to use the command shift four to take a real quick picture of that reading so I can insert it in the question. So just of that paragraph, I'm going to come over here where the question normally would go. I'm going to type read the passage 
and then I would tell them what they're trying to find. I'm going to click on the picture, browse. It's sitting on my desktop because I just took a screenshot of that reading. There it is. And now I'm going to type in my choices. And intimidation. Okay, and notice you can keep adding more. Now I need to tell it which ones are the correct answers. So I come down here to the answer key, give it a point. It's physical, it's threats, it's intimidation, and hit done. Now I can see all those things, so I'm good to go. I am going to make it a required question, and then on to the next section. So add a section. This section is for ELA. Now, just for time's sake, the very first thing I did for ELA is I added an image of the reading passage. So I have the reading passage here and I'm going to pull it up. Here's the reading passage. Same way that I got the passage in for Sweatshop. So now they have the poem, The Wind. Okay, they can keep coming back to it. So use this passage for the next five questions. And then I'm gonna add a question. So I come up here to add a question. The question is going to be a multiple choice question and for the wind here is one of the wind ones i'm just going to grab the question again so the only difference between this one and oops the only difference between this one and science is that i added the passage above because they're going to refer to it several times so that way i don't have to keep coming back to that so you keep on going. I happen to know this is the answer, so I'm going to grab it just for my choice. And then I'm going to answer key, mark it the right one, give it a point, hit done. Finally, my last one, add a section. This is my math. Add a question. It's a multiple choice question. The question on the math exam is this one copy and paste. I take screenshots of all of these graphs. And so then if I want graphs as my answer, I'm going to click on the picture. And then I have them in here to choose from. There's the first one. Come down here, add the second one. Etc. Etc. And then again, mark the correct answer. Give it a point value and hit done. Now, if I'm ready to use this with kids, you have several choices, but the first one I'm going to look at is I'm just going to grab the share link. I can paste that in Google Classroom. I can paste that in the chat uh, in inside of your Meet or your Zoom. You can do it anywhere. So I hit send. But inside of send, there's a link button. I'm going to click on that link. I'm just going to copy the whole thing because it won't matter. And then you can paste that anywhere you want. And the kids will then be able to reach your form. So if I come over here and I paste it, there's my form. And I'll be able to see it exactly as the kids will be able to see it. So there is your beginner. At some point in time, you may want to slow this video down just so that uh, you can stop practice and come back. Welcome to Beginner to Forms.